right. Can you see me? Hope so. Alright. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi y'all. So the first question is gonna be Obviously what happened to the lights? Well, really nothing happened to the lights. It's a uh, really big thunderstorm outside. And I got to thinking, I'm going to make sure I got this all nice and clean right here. So I got to thinking that uh, I haven't tried out my my little LED lantern shave here in a little while to see how I can do with it still. We're going into hurricane season down in this part of the world. So, uh, you know, I keep little LED lanterns. I've got oil lamps, all that kind of good stuff. My emergency kits and everything. It's just a good thing to do, I think. So it's been a little while since I did a shave one of these. Now this particular lantern is a little 25 lantern, little 25 lumens uh, LED lantern. It'll light up a room enough to see to get around. And and uh, as you can see, I think I can get enough light out of it that I can shave pretty good. So we're going to see. So that's going to be today's shave is the uh, electricity's out shave. Because usually around here, even electricity goes out, the water's still running because they have the generators on the pump so that you have the water flowing in for the fire department that kind of thing so you kind of keep that up so we're going to use a uh, curved top dammy it's not a dammy excuse me that's wrong it's a curved top gym it doesn't have damascene in it is it a different razor from the dammy probably not it's just not stamped for the damascene blades it was just a gym but it's got the nice pronounced top on it this one's got some nice wear and tear on it some some used saddle wear i call it and uh, you know it's a really really nice little razor. It's got the short handle and the squat head, and it's a travel razor. It's one of the ones that come in the little cigar box or cigar case type thing or a cigarette case type thing. So there we go. And we're also going to make this a fake spice night. So I've got sterling spice as the soap, and then the uh, Family Dollar spice for aftershave so it's a fake spice night along with the no electricity shave so there we go and just to make it kind of authentic as to what it would probably would be when electricity goes out I've got instant coffee I can warm up a cup of hot water pretty quick with some of the stuff I have you know the uh, I've got a uh, what is it uh, can heat uh, stove that I can open up a can and light it and then sit there and I can warm water up and the smaller amounts of water warm quicker with less energy so that's my theory anyway so I would you know more of an instant coffee type when electricity goes out and I want something hot to drink so anyway there we go so that's instant cafe bustello if anybody's worried about that at all so since I didn't remember before I got started let me grab a fresh rag back here all right and we're back at it again. Well, I made or attempted to make a couple of videos over the last couple of days, and I just haven't been up to it. I had another one of those episodes, whatever it is, that got me uh, just before Christmas as I was coming back from my sister's this year. And then I've had it two or three times since. I don't know what causes it. I don't want to mess with it no more. I don't like it. But it takes a couple of days to get over when it hits. And uh, so I just haven't, I've had to work day shifts and been dragging through and I just haven't been up to making a video. So, sorry about that. We're going to get around to it. making a video now. Hopefully this one will go all the way through and I won't start blah about halfway through it and turn it off like I did the last one. Still finished shaving, it's just uh, the video was so blah to me. I didn't feel like messing with it. But anyway neat thing about sterling soaps is they are definitely easy to lather and I'm using my cheap Chinese badger brush here the renod of the uh, what is this the 650 PB ever ready renod so that's the brush that we're using today because I do like it now I can actually see I think a little bit better in the mirror than we can on the phone Especially on one side of the face, but I really got to get my face bent around to see this side. But still, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Don't think it's going to be a problem. Let's see what we come up with here. All right. 
Got a uh, PAL super blade in here on like its third shave, so that ought to do us some good time. Feels pretty good. I don't know, let's check that blade real quick. It's got a nice all up behind the blade stops and everything. Alright. A lot of shadows and stuff to deal with, but still, I think most of this is by feel. Anyway, I don't think that's going to be any problem. Alright, get that rinsed up. Now, right under the old goatee. And let's see how we do up here. I think we'll be just fine. I've got better than a day's growth here going. I've got over a day and a half growth, so that shaves really well, in my opinion. So how many of you keep a little emergency kit around? I think we've discussed that before. And it's a pretty big thing for me. I actually have more than uh, one emergency kit I keep around. I've got stuff I keep at the house. I've got stuff I keep in the truck. And then I got, you know, a bug out bag that's made for a little bit longer. And, uh, all right, that's one text message. Should have left it up, huh? More light? Nah, that's okay. And then I've got my, like I said, my bug out bags for a little bit longer term. But anyway, they're good things to have. If you live in a part of the world that, like we do here, where you get hurricanes, or up in Tornado Alley, back home in Mississippi, it was a lot of thunderstorms during the summer, and you had to worry some about tornadoes and things of that nature. So, uh, it was good to have. The one thing that I'm going to be getting that I don't have yet. I have a wind up radio. I guess it uses a dynamo and you wind it up and it plays for a while. But they're making one now that is a radio, AM, FM, and it's got uh, a weather band on it. But you can also charge a cell phone with it. It's got a little LED light on it and that kind of stuff. So that's, that's on my acquire list is one that's got all that on it. So I'll be working on that. As we go along, this is turning into a really nice feeling shave. These little razors, I said it before, I, I love the uh, the curved top of the dammies and the uh, these gems that have the curved top. I don't think they do any different as far as shaving goes. I, I don't think it improves the shave. I don't think it hinders the shave. I don't think it's easier to find the angle. I don't think it's harder to find the angle. But I love the... Uh, the curved top. This particular one was a gift from one of the uh, one of the toasters over there, one of the fellers over on toast, and uh, he'll comment every once in a while in the in the uh, comments here on the YouTube channel. You know, shaving with Buzzy. That's you know me. I'm Buzzy. My boss still asks when I say something about shaving with Buzzy. She still gets a kick out of it. So that's fine. But anyway, so it was a gift because I had mentioned I wanted one. And he had one hanging around. Great people. Great people over there. Great people here on my YouTube channel too. I appreciate y'all. I see we're creeping up on 200 subscribers. And uh, we might have to keep an eyeball on that. I don't know what we're going to do for 200 subscribers. But we'll, we'll figure something out. We will figure something out out all right maybe I'll go back to the first video and see who who uh, commented on the first video and then come up and see who's commented the most since then could be fun to see if the 
folks that the first video is still hanging around a couple of years later. I know one of them is. No names mentioned, but I know one of them is. All right. Well, there we go. I don't know. You probably can't hear it on the video here, but uh, there's a lot of thunder outside. There's a big, bad thunderstorm sitting right off over the river coming this way from across the river from the west. And uh, so it's getting to be a lot of thunder. I like thunderstorms. I like bad weather. I don't like people getting hurt in bad weather. But uh, I really like bad weather, so I say, bring it on. Of course, that means I'm going to have to drive through it going to work, and I'm going to have to get wet when I get to work sometimes. You know, these kind of things happen. It'll be okay. No doubt about it. So there is our, hey, the lights went out shave. And I can tell you, it's a very nice feeling shave. Those curved top babies don't care if they got light to see or not. It's very nice. The Sterling Spice is always nice. And uh, we're going to throw on some of the Family Dollar. Now, I've also, uh, I can't find this at Family Dollar right anymore, but I can find it at Fred's, and it's the same stuff. The kind of, well, I call it, uh, smells kind of like spice. And it's different from the original Old Spice. Somebody had asked that the other day. My nose is not good enough to tell real subtle differences. It's all Old Spice to me. But uh, there are people that would assure you it is nowhere near. It has nothing anywhere near the same as the Old Spice. And, you know, more power to them if they can tell the difference. Hey, I believe you. I really do. All righty. Well, y'all have a great day. I'm going to get cleaned up here and uh, get a shower, get a uniform, and get on the road so I get myself some extra time to get to work. Not but about 20 miles down the road, but the traffic and, you know, when it rains, everybody goes crazy. A lot of crazy people around here, and most of them have driver's license, so makes for some fun trips some days. Y'all have a great day. Uh, appreciate you showing up. Like I said, we're getting close to 200 subscribers. Appreciate that. We got people showing up over at Toast every day. That's the original safety2.com. We really appreciate that. Also, the channel here was created to kind of promote Toast and it's kind of grown into something on its own. So, appreciate you. I really coming around, leaving comments, watching videos. I hear there's been some reposts and shares different places and things like that. I've never seen them. Don't know exactly where all that's going on, but every once in a while I know one pops up somewhere else. That's great. I appreciate you guys. You have a great day and remember, happy shaves. Do you?